Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo, and in this video, you're going to learn how to create temporary files and folders in Ruby. So, to create a temporary file, the first thing you will need is to require them file, like this a built in library so you don't have to install any gems. And then you create your file like this using the temp file class new. And this will give you a file that looks like this one. This random numbers and letters. And then we have the current date. And this is going to go into your temporary folder. So that's the path to your file. And if I run this few times you can see how is, how is it changing but now notice something because you might expect these files to remove to be gone after the program ends but that's not the case if we look for a pattern say my temporary folder like this we can see that these files are still there they are not deleted this is our 38R file, and it's there, right? And if I keep calling this code, I keep running this code, it will create more files. So why are these files not being deleted? Well, because when you use this form of them file, the only thing them file is doing for you is to create this random name file. And you have to delete the file yourself. Now there is another form. There is another way to use this class. Where if we do that. What you expect. We'll, where we delete the file. After you are done with the file. Here is that version. Of course is the block version. The block version. We give you the file. And when it's done, when you are done, when the block ends, the file will be deleted. So that's how you make it uh, delete the file after you have used it. So now if I run this a few times, you will see there are no new files inside my temporary folder. These are the same files we had before. And I run this program like five times so this is how you create a file that is truly temporary it's not only a, a random name but it's also deleting itself after the block ends and if you want to create many temporary files maybe what you want is a temporary folder and you can also do that using the file let me show you how. So here is the code example. We also require them file, but this time we are going to use the dir class for directory. Uh, we use make temporary directory as the method. And we also use a block. So the folder and all of the files inside this folder or directory will be deleted after the block is done. So let me run this code. Uh, you can see that's the temporary directory file path. And these are the contents because I created a file inside the temporary directory. It's called test. And we can see if I go to my temporary folder that there is no directory with that name. So that means that it has been deleted as we as you would as you would expect, right, from a temporary folder. And that's how you you use this. So that's temporary files and folders in Ruby. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please 
click the like button for me so I know that you like this video. And if you want to keep learning and improving your Ruby skills, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Watch more videos from my channel and visit my website rubyguides.com. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.